coming to you live with a, well, quick coaching minute to help encourage you to take your, well, your follow through and your accountability to the next level because you see the people that achieve their goals aren't necessarily the ones who are the most motivated or who have the best tools or it, it honestly comes down to who has accountability, who is a person who does what they say they're going to do, who follows through. And I know that you want to be somebody who follows through this year. I know that that is important to you, whatever your goal is. And so I wanted to share with you um, as an accountability coach and as a success and confidence coach, what are the secrets that, uh, what are the reasons why some people stay more accountable to their goals than others? And so I put together, here's my five reasons, that's 10, my five reasons why I think that if you implement these strategies, the five secrets to successful accountability, but I think that this can be the year that you really, really change how you approach your goal. So here it is. Number one, the secret to really follow through and accountability and achieving your goals is having a coach. And you know why it's important to have a coach? It's so that you're not on your own. Have somebody to share the burden with you, to stop. Honestly, without a coach, it's easy to get lost. It's easy to, to, to not pace yourself well. It's easy to give up. It's easy to feel sorry for yourself. A coach shares the burden gives you direction, re-motivates you, keeps you focused, reminds you, and gives you all the tools and structures that structure that you need as you go. Okay, number one, have a coach so that you can share the burden. Number two, accountability. Secret number two to follow through more is to have a community. And this kind of extends a little bit based off of what we were talking about with a coach because we've got to have people around us that are doing the same thing, that are striving to be the best version of themselves or that believe in a certain goal and they're pushing themselves to do it. Because when we convince ourselves that we're alone, when we convince ourselves that no one's working as hard as us, that no one's got the challenges that we do, that's when we start really dive bombing into, into shoot, like, uh, stagnancy and plateauing. I, I want different for you. I want you, I don't want this to be a year where you make it three months and then you, you go, well, I don't really care as much. No, this is the year. These are the goals that you, you're taking them the whole way. There's nothing I love more that I get obsessed about than helping people start and then helping people finish where they start. That's like what I love to do. Like helping people start and helping people finish where they start. I know that you can do that and I know it makes it a lot easier to do when you have other people doing the same thing. So community is really huge. Make sure you share your goals. Make sure you're connected around other people who are go-getting and life and sharing goals as well so that you aren't alone. Again, it's not as ma- it's not a matter of how bad you want to achieve your goal. It's a matter of are you willing to not give up this year? Are you willing to stay accountable no matter what and never give up and keep showing up even when you have setbacks, even when you don't feel like it? That's that's why accountability matters. And so we have a lot of factors that are going to go into us, a lot of distractions in life, a lot of disappointments, a lot of um, ways to get derailed or, or unfocused. So we want to do everything we can to simplify it and make it an easier process for ourselves, which is why hopefully these secrets are helping you. Secret number one have a coach to share the burden. Secret number two, have a community. So you stop thinking that you're on your own. You're not on your own, right? And then secret number three, have perspective. Now I call this one, the subtitle for this one is to pop more champagne. And I am a huge Prosecco fan, a huge champagne fan. And you know, I was listening to something this morning from Joyce Myers talking about celebrating life, the life that God has given us, that every day is a gift. And popping champagne is a great way to do that. Now I'm not advocating that you're drinking every day by any means, but I do think there's something beautiful to this concept of having champagne moments. And those can be metaphorical, but looking at the small details, keeping perspective on the little victories you have along the way, because it's very easy when you have a big goal to get overwhelmed with how long it's going to take you to get there. And when we don't see that immediate progress, we often can't see the change that's happening because we're too close to it. We lose sight, we get discouraged, and then we stop trying, we stop showing up, then you stop getting results, and then you find yourself back where you've always been of going, why can't I get, why can't I achieve what I want? Why am I still here? And it's as simple as all you got to do is pop more champagne. Let's have more champagne moments. Notice the small things. Start celebrating those. And I promise it's going to make achieving your goals easier. So I think sometimes we're too harsh on ourselves. We have to start being kinder and looking for things to celebrate. Secret number four, okay? Have your why nailed down. You guys, this is so important to know why something matters to you. Know why your goals matter. But here's what I think is really powerful and impactful full and important to remember is that your goals matter to you but they're they're bigger than you because when you when you go and you're the best version of yourself you become an even better version of, of yourself in the world your goal 
even if it might seem like a selfish goal, is actually extending beyond you and impacting other people. And so for those times when you get discouraged, those times when you feel like, oh, what's the point? Because I promise you, you're going to have them. Those times when you think, why am I even trying? Those times when you then the first, you know, having a coach, having a community, having perspective, popping that champagne, when those things are still making you feel filled with doubt and uncertain, I need you to remember why this goal matters to you, why you're doing what you do, what it's going towards, and also that it's benefiting you, absolutely. But ultimately, when you are the best version of yourself, there's a trickle effect, a butterfly effect, so to speak, that goes out into the world and makes the world a better place. So this isn't just a goal for you. Always go back to your why. And if you ever need help on figuring out what your why is or going deep, uh, again, I love helping people start what they want and finish what they start. And I also love helping people remember why it matters to you and why you matter. So those are our four secrets so far. Secret number five, and then we'll close out today's um, our coaching session, is to have more consistency. And I would say it like this, work it, girl. Like, you just have to say... I'm a person of consistency. I want consistency to be your middle name. I want you to be obsessed with showing up, obsessed with taking action, obsessed with saying, look, I, I'm going to put my best effort out there. I'm going to do my best, put my heart into it. I'm working on my belief. I'm, I'm getting a coach. I've got a community. I'm popping more champagne. I know my why. And you know what? The next thing you do, the only other thing you need to do is to keep showing up. Sometimes we overthink how far we have to show up. I just need you to show up today. I need you to show up today. And then I need you to show up for the next thing you do. And then I need the next. And then the next. And then the next. It is consistency and and just literally showing up. It doesn't mean you have to go all out 100 miles an hour. It just means show up just a little bit at a time. That is the secret to success. If we boil everything down, it's a willingness to show up every day with an open heart and an open open confidence belief that I'm going to keep my jobs to show up. And if I keep showing up long enough, something's gonna work. I will get there, right? It's when we stop showing up that our goals fall apart. So make this the year that you always show up in a baby step. They don't have, you don't have to show up in these gigantic, like huge ways. It just means show up for your goal, commit to it, do one thing every day. That's going to get you a baby step further. And certainly whenever you find yourself avoiding something or there's resistance, that's your sign that that should be the first thing you do that day. Don't like, don't buy into this, this convenience of procrastination of putting something off. Do it today. If you feel yourself resisting, lean in, give yourself 15 minutes and say, I'm going to hyper focus for 15 minutes and show up and just move this forward a little bit. So there you have it though. Are there's your five accountability secrets to helping make sure that you get done what you want to get done this year. Okay. Secret number one, have a coach. Secret number two, have a community. Secret number three, have perspective. Celebrate those small moments. Pop more champagne. Secret number four, know your why. Have it nailed down and know that your why matters beyond just you. So that should be, that should be encouraging and motivating for when you don't want to show up for yourself, show up for others and that will get, drive you further. And then secret number five, have more consistency. Be obsessed with showing up. Even if you've struggled with showing up in the past, if you've struggled with in the past, just, I want you to literally change your, in your mind, change your middle name to consistency. I am Trish Consistency Blackwell, right? Or I'm Trish Show Up Blackwell, whichever word resonates more with you. And then I would change all my passwords to whatever word I want to become more of. Um, it's a lot of this, this deep subconscious confidence work that we are doing that will make a major difference in your follow through and ability to really implement these. Here's what I know for sure. If you implement these five secrets, this is your, this is, this is the time that your goals are just going to just fall at your feet. Like you will, you're going to be like, if I only knew that reaching my goal was this easy before that I've overcomplicated it, I've over tried, I've over overthought it. I just need to do these five things. Have a coach, have community, pop more champagne, know my why, and keep showing up. I know you can do that. I would love to help you do that if you need more help doing that, or if you need a coach or community or somebody to remind you to pop champagne or to help you dig deep on your why, or to remind you, keep showing up. You got to come join us. Come show up in the College of Confidence. We would love to have you there. Go check it out at trishblackwell.com forward slash college or college of confidence.com. Have a great day. And I can't wait to show up for you as a coach and help you make sure that we absolutely start what you want and then finish what you start.